What up folks, it's Alex here. Now, I'm just about to film my five minute Friday video, but as you can see, this place is a bit of a mess. So before we begin, I'm just gonna tidy up. Much better. Right, in this video, we're gonna have a quick look at time lapses. Now, as we all know, video is just a bunch of still images in quick succession to make up a moving image. Time lapses are no different, it's just the duration between each frame is considerably longer. Once you've actually shot your time lapse, DaVinci Resolve makes it dead easy to actually put it together. So, let's have a look. Now before we open DaVinci Resolve, we're just going to have a look at the individual images. And as you can see from mine, they're all numbered sequentially. Hopefully your app or camera or whatever you've used has done the exact same thing because it's much easier to create your time lapse in Resolve if everything is numbered accordingly. If they're not, don't worry, we can still do it. I'll show you how to do it in both ways. Now we can head into DaVinci Resolve. Now as always, the first thing we should do is click on our little cog to open our project settings and we need to set the timeline frame rate. Because we're talking about frames per second, this will determine how fast your time lapse plays. If you shot with 24 frames per second in mind, but you set your timeline frame rate to be 60 frames per second, your time lapse will play considerably faster than you expected. It'll be about two and a bit times faster. So it's quite important that you set this to be the correct frame rate. I'm going to leave mine at 24 frames per second because that's what I shot at. Now, head into the media tab and we're going to locate the folder which contains all of our images. Because they were named sequentially, Resolve is smart enough to see that it's actually a sequence of images rather than an individual image. And what it's done is put it as one file shot at 24 frames per second. This will reflect what your timeline frame rate is set to. Now if I hit play, you can see Resolve has done the hard work, it's put all the images into a sequence and it's playing the time lapse for me. I can then add this to my media pool, head over to the edit tab, add it to my timeline and I can treat it as a video clip exactly the same as any other. So I can cut, I can remove bits, I can transform, I can do whatever I need. Easy peasy, job done. Now I'm just going to head back to the edit tab. If, for whatever reason, you don't want to see these as a sequence, you want to see the individual images, all you need to do is click on this icon here and click show individual frames and you'll see all your images listed. Now, if for whatever reason DaVinci Resolve doesn't pick up that it's a sequence, maybe the, the names are wrong or something's gone wrong and it's not showing you a sequence, it's showing you the individual images, you can still create your time lapse, it's just a little bit more difficult. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is click on DaVinci Resolve up here, go to Preferences, User, Editing, and it's this we're looking at here, Standard Still Duration. Now, this will determine how long each still image shows for by default. So if you add a JPEG to your timeline, will it stay on for two seconds by default? Or you can change it to 10 seconds or whatever you want it to be. We want to set this to be one frame because each image is one frame of the time lapse. So we click on frames and we just set this to one. We can then click on save. Now I'm just going to select a bunch of these images. I'm going to add them to my media pool. I'm going to head to the edit tab. Now I can select all of these images, drag them onto my timeline. And because we set the default duration, each image will only be on screen for one frame. So I hit play, it's created our time lapse. Now the problem with this is obviously these are individual images, it's not treating it as a single clip. So it's much harder to edit. So obviously you want it to pick up a sequence, we just wanted to show you how to do it if it doesn't. And that's it, nice and easy as always. If it was useful, thumbs up. If you've got any feedback, comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do have some interesting news slash developments going on with the channel, so stay tuned for those. I'll be posting a video hopefully sometime in the week. Have a good and all, and I'll see you later. Cheerio.